The Burbank Recycle Center is a community recycle center. We process all the material that we collect on the curbside collection route. All the bottles, cans, cardboard, paper, plastics, all that stuff comes in mixed together and our job here is to sort that out and prepare it for market. We collect about 40 tons a day at the Recycle Center. That turns out to be about 8,000 to 9,000 tons a year. Each household is probably generating somewhere in the neighborhood of two to 3,000 pounds of garbage that will get dropped into landfill. And every household probably generates between 500 and 1,000 pounds of, of recyclable materials every year. So we're trying to uh, capture as much as we can from the waste stream and get it into the best, highest and best use. So at the Recycle Center we have trucks come in from our curbside routes. We run about 15 trucks every day. They empty here and they just dump their stuff right on the floor. We push it into the warehouse and it's piled up until we can push it into a pit where it goes up a trash collator and then it goes on to the sorting line. We have about 30 workers on the sorting line. We also have screens that are uh, separating large from small. We have magnets pulling off the tin cans. Then everything either ends up bailed so that we can ship it, unless that stuff goes to China or, or somewhere across the Pacific Rim. I think the biggest misconception that people have about recycling is that they are somehow saving the earth by recycling. And really it's a band-aid on consumption and bad design. We shouldn't have to recycle all the things that we recycled because they were engineered and designed to be disposables in the first place. And the economics of recycling disposables is almost impossible. We, we really can't make the economics of this work. So if you're talking about durable goods that can be repaired and have a long lifespan, then we're, talking, then we're having a really honest conversation about what it is to be a consumer and to be a smart consumer. And uh, really, we're too smart to make this much waste. Uh, being a good consumer is really important for good recycling. First of all, buy very simple packages. Just try to keep them one material. Number two is um, shop where you don't need so much packaging. You know, shop at your farmer's markets. Go to the produce line, bring your own bags carry your own cup, um, you know, just all those simple things make a tremendous difference. To me, Earth Week is every week. <laughs> we need to think about this all the time and create habits that are continuous all the time. And uh, just look at the waste that you're generating, see what you can reduce, and really make this an active conversation. Don't take it for granted.